What's up, bless up, it's your boy Change Agent Cooper. Like this channel, subscribe to this channel, click the bell for notifications so you can be alerted when this content come out because I got a lot to say and I'm going to say it. I got a lot of experience, strength, and hope and I'm going to share it. For me not to would be blasphemy. Today, I'm talking about transportation and I'm talking about peer support. Straight up. Listen up, listen up, listen up. I am over this hearing that peer supports can't have people in their vehicles. It makes no sense. It makes no sense. Listen, the work that we do Bridging the gaps to resources, continuity of care, making sure people get to appointments, making sure people utilize the resources that's at Goodwill or ENC Works or the community college or the Department of Health and Human Services applying for food stamps or going to pick their medication assisted treatment up, whatever it is, the vehicle is a beautiful place for you to build relationships on the way to that place that you're going to access the resource. Now, if you ask me, it should be mandatory transportation coming from a peer support. That's one of the biggest social determinants of health that people that are struggling in the behavioral health space need to be addressed is transportation. So what better way than for the peer support specialist to build relationships with their peer and, and also making sure that they access the resource than in the vehicle. So if the organization is hiring the peer support is saying that the peer support can't transport then my question is, is that organization the best fit for the peer support? Should that organization be hiring the peer support? If you can't transport, listen, let me tell y'all something. Me and my team, we always out in the community. We always pulling up. Vote re they know us. Vote rehab, know us. The employers know us. They know our first and first name, last name. <laughs> first name, last name. I forget what rapper that did that. Uh, first name, last name. Uh, anyway, that was random. And I got and I got worship music playing in the background. Listen. In the army. But anyway, talking about transportation, man, like for real, for real. And we need investments made to make sure that there's company vehicles. Like I see the state, the state got vehicles. You feel me? Like my people shout out to ADAC. The peer supports they got out there. I done seen their peer support pull up with a with a client in the car, took them to the silver dough. You feel me? I got community action opportunities. They got a fleet of vehicles. You dig what I'm saying? You got other like employees that work for the government and stuff like that. that got company vehicles. We need company vehicles so that we can better serve our people. And, and it's a blessing to be able to track our mileage and everything. So don't hear me as saying that I'm not grateful because I got the joy of the Lord and gratitude is a side effect. Can I get an amen? But what I am saying is, is if we want to do this sustainably and efficiently and not put a crazy amount of wear and tear on a peer supports a uh, 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 vehicle, then that's what we need to be thinking about, y'all. Transportation is major. It's transportation is a social determinant of health. How is your organization addressing it? When's the last time you pulled up at October Road with a client to pick up their medication? When's the last time you, you picked a client up from the halfway house and took them to a recovery meeting and they didn't share at the meeting, so on the way back to the sober living, y'all had a meeting in the car about the meeting. When's the last time you picked somebody up for church and took them to church, to Elevation Church, and they got an orange bobble? No, no, no. When's the last time you, you took somebody to NC Works and made sure that they got an on-the-job training contract, courtesy of the Mountain Area Workforce Development Board? Took them to the NC Works and made sure that they accessed all the information that they needed. Made sure they understand what the career advisor was saying. Made sure their documentation got uploaded so that 75% of the salary could be reimbursed by the Workforce Board and that benefits the employer and the worker. What would we do if we couldn't transport?